So uh, my yarn install uh, part has ended and uh, so in my uh, project I think I can uh, now go and uh, just uh, go to my terminal and how to uh, like run this is we can go to uh, like the root of a project and uh, run uh, So we have got uh, these scripts, there's serve, build, lint and uh, test. So uh, if I run the, um, sorry, so if I run the serve script, uh, yarn run serve and uh, that should basically uh, start my uh, development server and I should have my project running on this path. Welcome to your Vue.js app, this is the basic Vue.js app setup as we have here. Um, so. We, we don't want all of these uh, uh, you know a home and about page we don't want this stuff we just want our own stuff to come in here so uh, let's just uh, start doing that um, what we do is uh, let's go to src and uh, we have got views and we have got components so components are basically uh, those uh, view files that we reuse inside other pages and views are basically our pages that we go to when we are going to different uh, routes um, so let's just uh, start uh, building our stuff here. Uh, let's uh, just, I'll just put my editor out there and uh, yeah. Uh, let me just pull out my demo page. Uh, yeah. So I think I love this setup is having my uh, demo page here, my editor uh, somewhere here and uh, yeah. Okay. So I'm gonna read stuff from here, uh, edit my stuff here, and then. Uh, this is where I can see uh, the output. So uh, we, we need these uh, pages. Uh, so we, we want to create the component called header and footer. So let me just, you know, get all this stuff. Uh, so I, I need uh, the nav bar. Okay, this is my nav bar. So I'm gonna create a component called uh, new uh, file navbar.view. Um, so we have a template and just put this stuff into my template. So this is my nav bar. Uh, I, I'm going to remove this uh, hello world component. Uh, and so views, uh, I think I'm going to have views for uh, these pages. I'm going to have a home page. Uh, yeah, so we'll have this home page. We'll have a login page, right? Uh, and we need this uh, register page. So let's just start creating these um, rules that we have. So let me just delete these two things out here. Uh, just delete this stuff, views. Uh, we'll have uh, a new file. Uh, so let's say uh, this is my home page home dot view and uh, we need a new file which is going to be um, login login dot view then we need a um, register dot view page okay um, let's just stuff all that thing that we have here so the home page uh, is going to contain um, this uh, stuff so div class home page and uh, all this stuff goes into my home right uh, oh sorry i need to put that inside the template yeah then we have our uh, login page um this is login slash register so both of them would be having something like this uh, so just put my login page uh, so uh yeah this is like the sign up page uh, and like let me just copy the same stuff in both places uh, the login page has like slight difference uh, so if you go to the uh, login versus the sign up pages uh, the sign up pages says like sign up have an account sign in pages is uh, sign in need an account so i'll do this like sign up and this sign in uh we'll have this uh, need an account kind of thing out here and uh, we'll remove this. Uh, so this has got uh, 
name, email, and password. Uh, so the, I, I'll remove the name field here. So the login page needs to have only email and password. As you can see, like this is only email and password. This has username, email, password, all of these things. Uh, so we have got the register page and the login page up here. Uh, so it's working. Um, we go to our uh, router.js and we'll change uh, all of this stuff here. So we have this home route, which is, uh, I think, uh, perfectly fine. We will uh, now create uh, some different routes. We'll create a uh, path uh, slash login, uh, which uh, will give the name uh, login, and we'll do component. Um, so component will do like uh, views slash uh, login dot view. Now, I mean, this way of writing component and this way of writing component, there's a difference is that if you write component like this, yeah, it's part of your initial bundle of your app. But if you write the component like this, it's like a function that imports. So it's a it's called a dynamic import. If you write it like this, then uh, Babel, which is our transpiler, what it does is that it splits our code into multiple JS files. So it puts home.view into a separate JS file and it puts login.view into a separate JS file. So uh, when you load your pages, uh, the login.view page uh, loads lazily later on. So your entire app does not get downloaded in the first go. Uh, so that's my login page. Uh, that's my, uh, you know, what, uh, register page. Okay. Uh, cool. Uh, let's see uh, how that goes. Uh, I think. Uh, so uh, just serve it again. And. Uh, We'll uh, go to uh, this page now, and we have got this like it is a uh, conduit, uh, and uh, so it still is using the styles from uh, my Vue.js app. You can go to uh, slash login, it shows the login page, and if I go to slash register, it uh, okay, register page should uh, I have done it register. So it's my uh, login page, and I think this should be register dot view register page. Okay, I'll just think rebuild this. Uh, we'll just figure out why the register page isn't exactly working. Um, okay, anyway, uh, we'll just get down to that. But first, let's just remove this uh, style uh, from here. So I'll go to app.view and remove all this app specific style that we have. Uh, you know, just remove this stuff. Yeah. So now, uh, if you go to the home page, uh, the styling has got removed. Uh, we don't need uh, this, you know, inside our app. We need to remove this, you know, nav bar. Instead of that, we want to use the, you know, nav bar from uh, this nav bar dot view page. So uh, you just write. Uh, import navbar from uh, components navbar.view and we'll do export default and write components so I put my navbar here then I will add navbar as a component here okay so yeah there we go there we got our navbar Okay, we got like our settings page, sign up page, and all that stuff in our app bar of them. Uh, let's now bring in the CSS and let's start making it look a bit like conduit. So uh, to do that, uh, I'll just uh, put uh, um, I go to. Uh, Conduit, 
demo.realworld.io slash main.css. So let's just download the CSS file into uh, our uh, app, right? So we'll just do this. So go to assets and uh, we'll download the CSS file that we got from there. And in my uh, main.js, I'm going to import uh, import uh, assets slash main.css. Okay. So if I like import uh, assets like this, uh, then what happens is uh, you know. Uh, my uh, webpack, a uh, webpack which is used to bundle all of this stuff and create uh, a bundle, it, it, it finds a CSS important automatically as that into my bundle. Uh, let's just, you know, serve this stuff uh, and let's see uh, how it's working now. Okay. So yeah, we, 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 it, it looks a bit like uh, the page that we wanted. We got uh, like new post settings, sign up, all that stuff. So we are close to uh, like getting all the layout stuff uh, going for us. Uh, can go to like the login page, looks like login uh, register page, looks like the register page. Uh, I think the font is uh, still not there. So uh, I think to get the font, uh, we need uh, we need Titanium Web. Uh, so I think I don't know where can we get Titanium Web. I think it's a Google font. So uh, okay, can we can we get this font Titanium Web? Uh, yeah. So uh, to get this Titanium Web font, we have to write this import line uh, inside my CSS, uh, titaniumweb.css. I'll just add this into my main.css, you know, uh, in my main.css, I'll just add this line in the beginning. This is going to uh, bring in Okay. Yep. So we got our uh, titanium web, uh, the, the 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 font that we wanted. So demo dot real world dot io, same font. Uh, you're getting getting the same font out here. Okay. I, I think we need to turn this into bold and stuff like that. We'll just get around to doing that. But I think we got we got the font that we wanted. Uh, yeah. So uh, let's let's start doing the rest of the stuff. Uh, so we need like uh, first of all we need like now navbar we need to create links so uh, so we have this like uh, new post link and we have settings link and the sign up link so all of these things need to go into uh, something called router links so we go to router link uh, to uh, slash register and just put uh, this here Um, and uh, I think I'll we'll give this class here. Map link. Okay. Um, let's see how that's working. If you click on sign up here, it takes me to register page, right? So I think it's all working pretty nicely. Yeah, sign up page. Then uh, you need like the uh, login page and stuff like that. So settings page. So just. Uh, if, if I need the login page, for example, uh, so I'll need to create it uh, like this router link uh, to uh, login and sign in link. Okay, so you got the sign in link, sign up link, you know. So basic routing starts working the way we want it to. Uh, okay, uh, now I'm just gonna make all the rest of the pages. I'll go to views and uh, I will add all the rest of the pages from here. So I need to like add. Uh, a profile page, a settings page, a edit article page, and a article viewing page. 
So uh, these pages are basically like this um, profile page. So if I, uh, I can go to uh, sign in uh, as my email ID is so don't spam me on that email ID. Uh, okay. Uh, yeah. So that's my profile page. Uh, so profile page is at the rate champion swimmer like this. There's a settings page. Um, so let's say we want to build the settings page out here. So um, yeah, new file settings dot view. Uh, we'll get the settings HTML from here. This is my settings page. There we go. Uh, template and settings. Um, let's create a route for the settings. Path is. Uh, slash uh, name is uh, settings and component is going to be uh, import uh, views slash settings dot view so you got the settings page up there Let's go to the nav bar and the settings page. We will uh, change this stuff to uh, router link, uh, make it to uh, settings. Okay, just like we've done with the other stuff. Okay. Right. Um, okay, so settings page takes us to our setting page. So I think things are working pretty good. Uh, now we need to start working on our data uh, fetching part. Uh, so I, I just, you know, create rest of the pages uh, first and then we will start working on our uh, uh, view X part. So for downloading the data from the API. Okay, so we'll just um, get into that uh, soon. Um, I think this, this makes uh, sense for now, right? So I think uh, this video I will just end it here. Uh, we got an idea how to create the different routes and how to create a component and use it in every place in our app. Uh, next, we'll see how to add uh, the data into our Vivex uh, 